words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother with letters on the mother by our Lord from the collective works of Sri Aurobindo, volume 32, page 294, topic The Mother's Help in Difficulties. Subtopic Difficulties and the Mother's Help. Sri Aurobindo says, Not to be disturbed, to remain quiet and confident is the right attitude. But it is necessary also to receive the help of the mother and not to shrink back for any reason from her solicitude. One ought not to indulge ideas of incapacity, inability to respond, dwelling too much on defects and failures and allowing the mind to be in pain and shame on their account. For these ideas and feelings become in the end weakening things. If there are difficulties, stumblings or failures, one has to look at them quietly and call in tranquilly and persistently the divine help for their removal. But not to allow oneself to be upset or pained or discouraged. Yoga is not an easy path and the total change of the nature cannot be done in a day. Sri Aurobindo says, throw aside this weakness. The mother's help is there. Keep yourself quiet and calm and face the difficulties with the courage a sadhak must have when seeking the divine. Sri Aurobindo says, once one has entered the the path of yoga, there is only one thing to do, to fix oneself in the resolution, to go to the end, whatever happens, whatever difficulties arise. None really gets the fulfillment in yoga by his own capacity. It is by the greater force that stands over you that it will come, and it is the call persistent through all vicissitudes to that force by which the fulfillment will come. Even when you cannot aspire actively, keep yourself turned to the mother for the help to come. That is the one thing to do always. Let me repeat. Sri Aurobindo says, even when you cannot aspire actively, keep yourself Turn to the mother for the help to come. That is the one thing to do always. Question. X says that while giving us flowers, the mother always says something to us silently about future difficulties, dangers or falls. Is it so? For the Sri Aurobindo says, Mother never thinks of future difficulties, falls or dangers. Her concentration is always on help, uplift and not on difficulty and downfall. Sri Aurobindo says, All the mother's love and help will remain with you unchanged as before. The whole difficulty comes from a vital moment which wants to possess in the wrong way by comparison with others instead of living fully in close relation of your heart and soul with the mother. It is the same in your relation with X. But this is a defect common in human nature and many here have it. It is not a thing that cannot be removed from the nature. Indeed, since your heart and soul want to be free from it, it cannot but go. Don't be discouraged, therefore, when it returns owing to old habit. With the mother's love and help, what your heart and soul desire will surely come and the wrong obscuring element disappear. Question. Is it true that the nearer the descent of the supermind, the greater will be the difficulties of those in whom it is to come down? For the Sri Aurobindo says it is true, unless they are so surrendered to the mother, so psychic, plastic, free from ego, that the difficulties are spared to them. Sri Aurobindo says, you must not yield to impatience and let it bring thoughts of the old kind 
that cannot possibly help the working but must impede it these thoughts that come are not true those who left left because they mingled their own ego with the sadhana ambition vanity and other wrong moments and wanted to use the force that the sadhana gave them for these things or they had to go because the pull of the old life family home action in the world outside was too strong for them also the idea that the mother is leading all others happily along and they are becoming perfect and only you are left out is the usual delusion that comes when one allows despondency to arise almost all have these difficulties to overcome and these difficulties rise again and again till the inner being is sufficiently developed to make them impossible there is therefore no reason to suppose that others will be able and you will not be able shri arbindo says the change of the old habitual moments of the nature cannot be done in a single stroke the inner consciousness has to grow in such a way that finally it occupies the outer being also and renders these things impossible what i have written to you about these things and the attitude to be taken is the knowledge that we have and the truth of the human nature and of sadhana confirmed by our and by all spiritual experience it is our outer being that has these reactions and not our inner nature you have only to trust in the mother and follow what i say and these difficulties will be worked out of the outer being and return no more but patience is necessary because it takes time not to new alone but in all do not allow such thoughts as the idea what is the use of spiritual experiences since my nature is not changed etc for these are the thoughts of the mind's ignorance recover the attitude and the resolution that you had taken and were developing keep the will and the faith and in quietude and patience let the mother work all out in you let me repeat recover the attitude and the resolution that you had taken and were developing keep the will and the faith and in quietude and patience let the divine mother work all out in you be sure that the mother will always be with you to carry you upon the path be sure says sri aurobindo be sure that the mother the divine mother will always be with you to carry you upon the path difficulties come and difficulties go but she being with you the victory is sure what is the means of dealing day by day with difficulties for the sri aurobindo says equality rejection calling in of the mother's force when difficulties arise remain quiet within call down the mother's force to remove them in my sadhana is the next question in my sadhana i received only what i prayed for i earn greatly for what has come to me the divine's response le- reasonless mercy is not important to me as tapasya the capacity to open to him and hold him this is my belief for the shyorbindo says it was by your personal efforts without guidance that you got into difficulties and into a heated condition in which you could not meditate i asked you to drop the effort and remain quiet and you did so my intention was that by your remaining quiet it would be possible for the mother's work to work in you and establish a better starting point and a course of initial ex- experience this was what was the beginning to come but if your mind again becomes active and tries to arrange the sadhana for itself then the disturbances are likely to come the divine guidance works best when the psychic is open and in the front 
but it can also work even when the sadhak is either not conscious of it or else knows it only by its results these are the words of our lord shri aurobindo